Ian, welcome to Aldershot. You must be delighted to get the deal over the line. Yeah, absolutely. Um, delighted to get it over the line and um, get back working with the gaffer. Um, really excited for this um, for this season with this football club and um, taking steps forward in the right in the right direction and um, looking up. Now you're a centre half, aren't you? Left footed centre half, which is quite rare they say these days. Yeah. So how do you describe yourself as a defender? Um, a competitive footballer that, um, that tries his very best to um, to I win, um, and that and winning is always driven by performance. So to perform well enables you to win and um, and to be a good teammate, really. Um, and as I've sort of got a bit more experience and worked with different players and different managers, all that sort of stuff is critical um, to where you end up finishing in May. So um, I'd like to try and get the ball down and play the right way. All that's all that's very well and good, but especially the, the bottom end of the football league and 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 in, this, in the national league, it's you have to fight first and you have to earn the right to play. So that's something that I I understand. And over my sort of time and career, I've I've got better at. Um, my understanding's got better of that, and and all that comes first, and then and then the ability comes second. Now you were with Tommy at Bristol Rovers. Obviously, yeah. he had a bit of a different role there, but you, you, as you said off camera, you did manage to get a few interim games under him, didn't yeah. you? So does that make it a little bit easier? You know what you're kind of yeah, coming into. Yeah, absolutely. When I when I came through at Coventry and, and, and left to leave to Swansea, Tommy had just joined Coventry at that point, so I didn't get a chance to work with him there, and um, I signed. With Tommy, I think in, in sort of a sporting director, technical director role at Bristol Rovers, and in between managers, Tommy took a few games, and he was absolutely brilliant. I think we, I think we beat Chelsea four three in a belter, and we beat we beat Portsmouth three um, one, both games at the Men for Bristol Rovers, and and I just remember the football being sort of uh, full throttle front foot football that that was exciting to to a playing, and I'm sure for definite um, to watch. Now you're obviously at the F Stadium here, but you, you said didn't you? You've actually played here before. Yeah. Um, when Chelsea under 21s used to play, yeah. you, were, you were playing for Swansea, weren't you? Yeah, I played for Swansea 21s after I left Coventry. Um, played Chelsea. Here. I think we beat them three one. Ollie McBurney scored actually, so we had, a, we had a bit of a ridiculous side to be honest. Um, but yeah, been here before. I, I could remember it. I could remember the pitch being lovely, um, and it looks like it's getting back to being like that now. So I'm um, really excited to play. Really excited to be here. And um, you had a spell at, in in the Netherlands, didn't you? Yeah. So was that a little bit of a unique experience? Yeah, loved it, loved it. Um, didn't enjoy it as much while I was there than, I, than than looking back as much as I did really. But I was young; I was only sort of nineteen, twenty. Um, moved out there with my partner Grace, and um, loved it. But I think if I went back now at twenty six, I'd have I'd have took everything in a lot more than I did. But that's just coming; that comes with age. But I took so many positives. Um, and learning experiences from being out there, um, yeah, uh, fond memories. And of course, uh, a lot of youth um, caps for Wales as well, even yeah. up to the under 21. So that must have been a brilliant experience. Oh too. yeah, I learned so much from being away with, um, with the youth sides of Wales up to the under 21s, and seeing so many of, of the teammates that I came through with now playing in the national team and, and playing at the World Cup. It was um, mind blowing, really. Um, and that's something that I would look to do later in my career, hopefully. I just need to, to focus on the here and now, and that's with getting all the shot back towards the right end of the, of the league. And that starts, well, next week, doesn't it? Pre-season is just around the corner, so... Yeah, um, nice to know where I am. I didn't sign at Swindon until sort of they'd gone back in for pre-season, and you, you're almost playing catch-up a little bit. So to get this sorted um, and get my feet under the table and get my, get my teeth into pre-season is something I'm excited about. I've, I've had a few disrupted pre-seasons for numerous reasons the last few years, so this will be my first proper one in sort of four seasons, so excited to, to, to get through the sort of six weeks, get through the eight games or however many games it is, and, um, and be, be fit and raring to go come the sort of 4th and 5th of August. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.